and welcome to this ETE tutor video for Edexcel GCSE English language students and in this video we are looking at paper 2, section A, the reading section and question 3. So this is your first longer question so you're given more space just try to fill that space if you can. If you've got very large handwriting, you might need extra paper, but this paper's been designed to help you. They're giving you the space that they think you will need to gain the amount of marks. So here we've got 15 marks available, and this question will always be the same, structured in the same way. So you can just go online and find non-fiction, newspaper articles, online articles, and apply this question to them, okay? So, analyse how the writer uses language and structure to interest and engage the reader. Support your views with detailed reference to the text. Okay, so, top tips for this one. Obviously, write in prose, so it's going to be a collection of paragraphs. Those paragraphs don't necessarily need to be linked together. Um, what you're trying to achieve is locating a range of devices. Some of them have to be on language, some have to be on structure. So as long as you've got at least one on structure, you'll be okay. So maybe three, four on language, one on structure, three on language, a couple on structure, anything around that amount is going to be right. They're looking for the quality of your analysis, not the uh, quantity. So it's not okay to just list every single thing that you can see. You're looking for really strong examples of how the writers used language or structure to really engage the reader. So within your paragraphs, you need to locate the device, use the correct subject terminology. If you're struggling with this, I've got a few videos on subject terminology too that might be helpful. And then you give your evidence, short quotations, suggesting quotations, particularly for the language part, because obviously it's the language that you're looking at, so you need those quotations. And then you've got to make sure you cover the effects, so the impact this has on the reader. So it might be something like, the writer uses hyperbole with drowning in food banks, for example. And then you would give that quote, so that you're drowning in food banks would be your quote, and then you would say, the writer is trying to persuade the reader round to his point of view and recognise that we do have an issue in this country with the amount of food banks that we have. Something like that would cover all parts. So you've got a device, this time it was hyperbole, you've got a quote that shows that hyperbole, and then you've linked it into the impact that it's trying to have on the reader and how it's trying to engage them. So it could be that trying to persuade them, to inform them, to entertain them. So think about the impact that whatever device you've got has on the reader. In terms of structure, it's a good uh, opportunity to try and cover the whole text so to see how things change and develop throughout that piece of writing. Things you can consider for your language, as vocabulary obviously, and then all those other devices, so there might be figurative language, there might be descriptive language, you might spot some alliteration, you might see onomatopoeia, whatever it is, you need to cover that for language. And then in terms of your structure part, you'd be looking at the use of punctuation. You'd be thinking about sentence structures, the type of sentences, the length of sentences and so on. And you might also consider the length of paragraphs in there or think about how themes reoccur within a piece of writing. So perhaps we're given something right at the beginning and then we've got a cyclic structure. So that comes back at the end to really make sure a particular point has been brought home to the readers. 
Okay, I hope that one's helped. I'm going to actually look at some texts and pick out some points in other videos. So make sure you check out those ones as well. If you haven't already subscribed and your exams are coming up very soon, please hit that button because then you're not going to miss out on any videos. All right then, thanks for watching and good luck.